Hi, I'm Reverend Diane from Unity of Naples, and it's a joy to be with you. Uh, yesterday, our, our service was based around How Then Shall We Live by Wayne Muller. It's a fabulous book, and we're doing a seven-week series. This was week two, and our daily word was joy for the day. And it's just so cool because these individuals that are holding hands and standing in the light have behind them a shadow that's cast by being in the fullness of what it is to be in the light, to live life. And so, interestingly enough, our topic was the sacred shadow. Our question is, how is my shadow my teacher? What we realize is that as human beings, we all have stories. Oh my gosh, we have stories. We've got stories that we have carried since we were tiny, perspectives that may or may not be what other people have seen or felt or heard, but we carry them with us and sometimes we name ourselves according to those stories. And they can be stories that really carry a shadow, a woundedness. And as you and I carry that woundedness into our adulthood, there's always a call to mature, to feel more complete, when we remember the truth. And of course, we know it's always the truth that sets us free. So to face the shadow is to look at the stories. Sometimes we have the opportunity to look at the story and to really see it for what it is, that it was a transient, somewhat superficial experience that brought us strength or gave us wisdom that moved us forward. And to drop the story is like dropping something off of our backs and just unzipping this old way of thinking of ourselves, of identifying ourselves and stepping free into the joy and the fullness of living. That's what it is to know that the shadow is actually a part of our experience, but that the light always sets us free. Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is within you. And when we look at the original Greek, it's interesting, it's enthosimon. And when we it, translate it correctly, it means either the kingdom of heaven is within you or among you. We notice that we, as human beings, like grapes, don't grow individually. We grow in clusters. And so it's often in community, it's with your family, it's with your friends, that you get to see your shadow. <laughs> Sometimes it's not a pretty picture. But it's a beautiful thing because when we're willing, it means one thing, that we're in full light when we can see shadow, that we can see through our shadow and dealing with it, facing it, getting out of the way of letting the light shine on it, we get to open up our lives and to soften and to gentle and to really listen. We're able to listen and hear the truth of who we are. So this week, I just encourage you that if you hear yourself saying some ah, about who you really are, Remember that the light of God is always shining in your life. And that which you perceive as hmm, not something that's true, just let it go. It's just a shadow. And it came so that you will stand in God's grace and know the fullness of who you are while you're here on the earth plane. The kingdom of heaven is here now. Right where you are, God is. Have a glorious week. God bless.